On June 24th of 2022, the Golden State Warriors made a move that wasn't expected. They signed a lesser known guard out of Memphis, Lester Quinones. Fast forward a year later, and the Warriors look like they've done it again. Lester Quinones isn't just a potential 15th man, he's shown signs in Summer League that suggest he could be much, much more. I mean, how many players in the NBA, let alone Summer League, can make shots like this consistently? Three on the clock. Quinones with a 9-1-1, answered! Comes off the baseline screen. Good defense by the Raptors. Still got his jack and knocked it home. And when I say consistently, he's been cooking opposition teams for two weeks straight. How about a matchup against Keegan Murray? Sure, Murray was the number four overall pick and started in the playoffs, but that doesn't mean anything when he's on Quinones Island, as Lester sizes him up before going to a step back that is just beautiful. Now, I wasn't expecting to make two Lester Quinones videos, but since I last talked about him, he dropped 30 points in two of his last three games, and over the course of Summer League, his numbers were fantastic, averaging 22 points to go along with over four boards and four assists per game. But you know what makes Lester's Summer League play so incredible? No one saw this coming. Entering last year's draft, he got zero respect from draft experts. You guys have seen the videos about JP when he got drafted, or some of the things people said about Steph. Well, this is a completely different level of disrespect. Take NBADraft.net for example. Do you want to hear what those guys had to say about him? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They gave us his height, age, and well, that's about it. And this wasn't the only place Lester was disrespected. The Athletic ranked 100 NBA draft prospects. 100, which included names that I'm sure you've never heard of, like Pavel Savkov, Giordano Botolani, Yon Makundu, and well, 97 others. But you want to know where they ranked Lester? He wasn't on the list. Lester Quinones wasn't even considered a top 100 prospect in last year's draft. And now, well now he's already better than about 80 of those players listed. But do you guys know why the dubs initially took him? It wasn't because he looks like a Jordan Paul clone. It was because of his defensive potential. He said it himself, my niche to get into the league right now is 3 and D. So just going in and really locking in on defense and hitting open shots, I feel like that's what's going to get me into the league. And we've only seen glimpses in Summer League, but the potential is there. Like you're in transition where Dick, Grady I'm talking about, tries to Euro around him, but Lester reads it perfectly before going up vertically and packing his shot. Or in this play, which is really smart, he gets in a stance out top against Noel, and with Noel anticipating the screen, Lester pokes away at the ball before, well, let's ignore him smoking the layup. That's not the point. Actually, that's not a bad segue, because whilst everyone will talk about Quinones as shooting, and that's for good reason, he makes some special shots. But when you're a good shooter, you can really make defenses pay by also being great at getting to the rim. And that's exactly what Quinones has shown if you ignore that blown layer. Look no further than his Euro steps that are just a thing of beauty. Or even better, how about blowing past Keegan Murray on this play and then having the strength to go right into the chest of the Kings defender, absorbing the contact and dropping it in. He's got the right combination of size, strength, quickness, and a handle to tie it all together. I know it's just Summer League, but he looked quite literally unguardable for two weeks straight. And that's exactly what you'd hope to see against some pretty good competition still. But it's much more than just finishing at the rim. The most promising part of the last three games for Leicester was getting to the line. He recorded 30 free throws in three games. In fact, all 30 of those came against Dallas and Toronto, once again highlighting his strength and quickness being too much for opposition guards, forcing them to foul him whenever he got downhill. Not to mention the amount of times he got fouled on three-point shots because of the work he does off the ball, like here where he gives it up, but then doesn't stop moving before catching it and hardy panics resulting in a foul. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Do the Warriors really need another the guard? Well, forget about his position for a second. The Warriors need shooting. Do you want to guess how many Dubs players shot above 37% from three in this year's playoffs? One. 
That one player was Moses Moody. As a team, the Dubs shot only 34% from three, which was over 3% down from last year's playoffs. And for comparison, was also over 3% lower than the Heat and Nuggets. Before we talk about anything else, this is what is going to get Lester minutes. It's his shooting ability, which goes far beyond just hitting tough step back threes. He's got some off-ball traits that Dubs fans would be pretty familiar with. Just watch this play, where Lester curls from the baseline to out top and just because he can, a casual turnaround into a knockdown three. Or this play, which is the play that really sold me on Quinones. He brings it up in transition, he gives it up, but then makes a sharp fake cut before stepping back behind the three-point line and knocking it down in rhythm. Anytime a player can break another player's ankles without touching the ball, that's a pretty good sign of how good they are off the ball. But the reason there's still a role for Leicester, even with the dubs having about a thousand guards, is he's not your average guard. He's got some legit size. Just to put this into perspective, Steph Curry is 6'3 with a 6'5 wingspan. Klay Thompson is 6'6 with a 6'9 wingspan. And JP, who obviously is no longer on the team, was 6'5 with a 6'7 wingspan. Lester Quinones is 6'5 with a 6'10 wingspan. That's only one inch shorter than Jonathan Kaminga's wingspan, who is considered a 4. It's this exact reason why Quinones could potentially play position one through three on defense and offensively well the Warriors have a couple of decent point guards I don't know if you guys have heard of them but they aren't too bad however going forward I think he has the potential to play one through three on offense as well. I mean, if you aren't convinced by his playmaking, look no further than the first quarter of the Warriors game against Toronto, where he absolutely dissected their defense. Let's start with this play. TJD sets the pick for Leicester. He fakes out the defender before driving past him, and he waits just until Brown commits before dropping an absolute dime, and while well, Trace cleans it up on the second opportunity. Or on this play, where this time Kinones blows straight past him defender drawing the help which creates a wide open opportunity and the final play which is just a beautiful between the legs crossover drawing one two three defenders yet still managing to drop off a perfect dime to the rolling big these were just three examples in the first quarter of a game where Quinones was consistently generating wide open opportunities for his teammates because of his ability to collapse the defense and that's why i believe he can be so much more than just a shooter because it's not just the playmaking but he has a feel for the game that you don't often see with young players that have barely played at the NBA level. It's the little things like here, where he utilizes the screen, gets the defender on his back, and then hits the teardrop, or a similar kind of play here, where again he utilizes the screen, and it's a pull-up jumper. Now he can just as easily turn that into a dime when defenses start respecting that shooting ability. I mean, this didn't end in an assist, but it's even better. Watch here as he threads the needle before a couple of extra passes and it ends back with Quinones for a knockdown three. Anyways, if you want to hear about another player who has showed out in Summer League, click here. If you want to hear about what JK could potentially do this season, click here. Either way, have a great day. Bye.